Hi guys, welcome to Ops and Cox, and then today we're gonna show you how to do mild wine. But it's also called, I think, hot wine. Yes, I, yeah, glue wine. Glue wine. <laughs> I think it's yeah. it's just wine that you basically heat up. So I guess let's just start. We'll start with the ingredients, like uh, what we what do we need. Uh, yeah. We need a bottle of wine. Yeah. Today we have one bottle of Excelsior pure red wine. Um, then we need star anise. Yeah. You need uh, cinnamon sticks. Mm -hmm. You will need cloves. Mm -hmm. You will need nutmeg. You need oranges. <laughs> and you also need honey if yeah. you want it sweet. So shall we start? Yes. All right. So we can open the bottle mm -hmm. of wine. Yeah. So is this which which type of wine is this? This is a Shiraz and Malo blend. Yeah. So you need to use a dry one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So here we're using the pure pure bread, eh? Shiraz. Yeah. And this one after this, I'll let you know there's gonna be an offer for this one, but I'll let you know after the video when it's done. Yeah. yeah. So to start, you just yeah. pour your wine into the pot. Yeah. Do we need like a full bottle? Yes, a full bottle of wine. Oh my people are gonna get drunk to the <laughs> Perfect. Then you right. can add up your spices. Mm -hmm. So we have four pieces of star anise. Yeah. We just pour them in. Yeah. Six pieces of cloves. Ah. So yeah. it's six pieces of everything. No, for one. Star anise were four. Ah, there were four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then for cinnamon, yeah. it depends. If you like cinnamon, you can put more, but I put three to four sticks. Ah, so perfect. Then. And then the it's already nutmeg. smelling amazing. <laughs> for the nutmeg, yeah. you just grate a bit. Ah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. nutmeg. Okay. And then you throw your lemon slices. Yeah. Sorry. They are oranges. oranges, yes. <laughs> oranges. Yeah. Then Yeah. And now we can start the fire. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So we let this run for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Or just to steam up. Yeah. yeah. Then you can start. Ah, yes. yeah. That looks beautiful already. And I'm telling you guys, the smell. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. They usually do this during Christmas. It's also yes. known like a Christmas drink. But, but winter. It, winter. Ah, winter. Yes. Like a winter drink, yes. But then again, when it's cold, like it's cold in Nairobi, as in, please drink away. Nice. You want some? Mm. Oh my god. Even feels like and it's, it's got more alcohol though. Yes, and it's not too <coughs> sweet. But if you want it uh, sweet, you yeah. can. Yeah. But I actually thought it's gonna taste like it has less alcohol. But it tastes like you you've you've cooked the alcohol. It's like it ha the alcohol yes. has marinated. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't like to add anything else. Yeah. Because it becomes too strong. Too strong. Yes. You can hardly. Can I also put a bit of like cinnamon? Maybe? Yes, you can. Stick in there. Yes, you can. I'm also a sweet too, so I think I'll add a bit of honey. Yes, you can. I hope I don't spoil the wine. No, it won't get spoiled. It's fine. So, so. Just add a little bit. 